Hello and welcome to Grad Night 2020. Thanks for tuning in online as we celebrate the transition of our seniors from this stage of life to the next. And to all our graduates, we are so proud of you for all that you've accomplished and also who you are and what God has done in your lives. Yes, and I know some of you aren't much for the spotlight, but the spotlight is going to be on you just for a bit because this moment is too important for us to ignore. I've only known you guys for a relatively short period of time, but even over this past year, I feel like I've seen you grow so much. But now we're going to take a look back through the years to see how much you've really grown. We present to you the, the class, class of 2020. 2020.
Jordan, I've got to admit, the hardest part for me in putting all of this together was having to choose which photos to leave in and which photos to take out because they're all just so precious. I can only imagine. Now let's take a moment to remember the last four years of your life in our church. As well as all of the people who have helped shape you in who you've become. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're all excited to see you hit the next phase of college, and we can't wait to see what the Lord has in store for all of you. I remember I came to CBMC in 2014, and many of you at that time were seventh graders. And I recall vividly that when I first got there and I'm preaching, uh, at the beginning of the worship service, many of you sat on the right side, second row, and I was sitting right in front of you on the first row, and you all came with bright eyes, Bible in hand. Uh, you had a big smile as the worship service started, and there was just an excitement that you all had for the Lord and for CBMC. And it's been a joy and a pleasure to, to minister with you alongside with you. And uh, I even think, looking back, I baptized many of you too. And that was such an honor for me uh, to watch your class grow. And I felt like I kind of grew up as you guys grew up as well. And I grew up in the, as, a, as a pastor a little bit. Um, I also, on behalf of CBMC, want to also say thank you for your contributions to God's kingdom and to the church. And, and I can think of all the countless hours that you guys have put in uh, to Area 51, to the worship team. Awana, uh, think about all the countless hours that you put into that. And then VBS, and those were some of the fun times that we had together. Uh, the Syrian refugee dinner just about six months ago. And, and even all the times that when your parents had to serve, they kind of dragged you along with them to the church so that you had to serve alongside too and do the work that they were doing. So thank you so much for all those kind of things. Um, as you take off, or I, sh I should say more, more appropriately, as, as you leave and go off to college, um, I want you to know that all of us are rooting for you. We, we have been there. We remember the highs and the lows. And Colossians 2 tells us, as you have received the Lord, so also uh, be rooted in him, established in him, walk in him. Those are the words that it uses. And so college will be a time where you will develop more and establish your faith. And you're going to face more complex problems to your spiritual life, to personal problems. And it's a different order of magnitude. But as you face those, just remember we're here for you. And we're just a, a text or a phone call away. We would love to still uh, maintain a connection with you while you're off in college. Congrats to the class of 2020. I'm so proud of you. And some of you guys I've known since you guys were babies and some of you I've met recently, but regardless of when we met, I'm honored to be a part of your lives, to have watched you grown in this time. And as you go off to college, it's gonna be a hard time right now, especially with everything going on. But know your foundation is in Christ. You're gonna face trials and tribulations in life, but just rely on his word and your faith in him. And remember, if you need a any boba or food, just call me up, text me. All right, congrats. Angela here, AKA Jello. I just wanted to say a little something for my senior girls, but also the graduating class. Um, so let's get started. Alicia, you are such a hard worker and that does not go unnoticed. Um, you've always been so friendly and kind and I have no doubt that you'll carry that into UCLA. So congrats again on becoming a Bruin. Um, next up, Naomi, you are so loved by everyone around you and you have opened up more and more each and every year and you have grown so much because of that. We are all drawn to your good nature and I love you so much and I know that you'll have such a great time at UCI. So congrats. Um, the next person going to UCI, Talia. Talia, Talia, Talia. 
you uh, have one of the most energetic personalities and I have loved each and every single moment with you. Um, you're so talented, so beautiful, and so funny in good and bad ways. <laughs> JK, I love you and I know that you'll do great at UCI. Um, Danae, you are truly one of a kind. You've always worked hard and you're super dedicated, not only to your academics, but to your family and friends as well. Um, you are thoughtful and caring and you have a kind heart and you've shown that throughout all the years. And I'm super excited for you to continue to grow at Davis. All right, Bridget, I mean Phoebe or Bridget, just kidding, Bridget. Um, you are so intuitive and adaptable always thinking of new ways to do things and you bring life to conversations and aren't afraid to share your opinions. Um, you're always sincere and honest and I love you for that. And I know that you'll do amazing things at Long Beach. Um, Phoebe, your dedication to your family and your friends is something to make note of. You are so selfless and warm-hearted and always thinking of others. So don't forget to take care of yourself as well. Um, you've grown into such an amazing human being with a big heart and um, Portland is lucky to have you. Um, so to all my girls, you is kind, you is smart, and you is important. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your lives. I have no words to describe how much I will miss you all, um, but I am proud of all that you have achieved and I'm excited for what your future holds for each and every one of you. Thank you. Hey Matthew, congrats. Uh, this isn't probably how you imagine you'd celebrate your graduation, but uh, you made it. And I pray that, uh, that um, when you go to college, you make good decisions and uh, know that you can leave home, but home will never leave you. Hi seniors! I'm so sad that it's that time of year again, but I'm also so excited to see what's in store for you guys. And with that, I want to give a shout out to my senior girls. Anna, though you live farther away than most, you didn't let that keep you from be still being connected to our church. The couple of times we were able to meet up in small group, I'm glad to have had the chance to talk to you and get to know you more. You're a good conversationalist, and it was fun getting to know uh, more about your horse and your pets. I wish you all the best as you head off into this next chapter in your life. Leslie, you have such a bright smile and infectious laughter. And the screams, we can't forget about the screams. That aside, you have a very kind heart and you're also very patient and understanding to those around you. You always give a listening ear and a helping hand when needed. You're such a hard worker and I know that you will succeed in whatever you do in college. Melissa, you have a great sense of humor. And even though you like to troll me and I guess my age incorrectly many, many times, um, I love that you brighten up the mood with your wit and you never fail to make us laugh. You're open and always so willing to share and you bring such good insight to our conversations. Thank you for being so bubbly and may you continue to be a shining light to others. Natalie, you have a beautiful voice and you're not afraid to use it to sing and worship our God. You're welcoming and friendly and, always, and you're always one of the first to reach out to other youth kids. Thank you for your empathetic heart and for extending care to everyone around you. May you continue to grow in love and share your faith to those you meet. Josh, Brian, and Wesley, it has been an honor and a privilege to be able to have served as one of your small group leaders these last few years. And you know, you guys were my very first boys that I had in my small group back in Trek when you were in eighth grade. And I remember even then, Josh, I could see just how perceptive you are and how you're such a critical thinker. 
and I know you're gonna do well in college. And I am so overjoyed to have been able to see you grow in the Lord to where now, even though with COVID, we're not actually gonna get to see your baptism happen as we uh, wanted to on Easter, um, but to know that that is the trajectory of your life, to, to be baptized and to grow in Christ is, is so good. And Brian, you have such a lightheartedness and joy about you. People have a good time, a better time when you're around. And I, I wanna see you continue to cultivate that and just be a blessing to people's lives and to continue to make people smile. And although you like to make lots of jokes and poke fun, one of the things I love about you is just you have a depth and a maturity about you that most people your age don't. And Wesley, you are almost annoyingly smart and quick-witted. I, I love it. But even more than that, I, I love and think that your best quality really is your heart. You are compassionate and you care about others. And it reflects the heart of our Savior so well. And I think that your humility also really has served as an example to the other students around you. So to all three of you, Thank you for letting me be a part of your lives these last few years. I'm so grateful and I love you guys. just want to say how proud I am of you guys. Um, just blessed that I've been able to see you guys grow from ever since you guys were little kids at the church. I uh, just want to congratulate you guys for graduating and enjoy your next step in life, college, fun stuff. seniors graduating whether or not you are in my small group or not spending time with you all has been such a joy these past few years and it's been such a privilege to be able to watch you guys grow from teeny middle school kids to wonderful teenagers and adults and so I just want you guys to take pride in how far you've come and have faith in how far you'll go because I do um, and I wish you guys all the best in your future and I hope that you'll continue to keep seeking God's kingdom no matter where you are and know that I will always be here for you with open arms um, and from the bottom of my heart. I love you all so much. Congrats to the class of 2020. You did it. To everyone else who's uh, graduating, I pray that uh, you guys don't forget each other. Uh, I pray that you guys can uh, celebrate after this quarantine is over. And I pray that you guys can, uh, you know, meet up and have lunch or dinner, however far you guys go. And yeah, I uh, hope that uh, you give us a call. Uh, if any problems or not, just talk to us. seniors I can't believe how fast these past few years have flown by it feels like just maybe not yesterday but just like a while ago <laughs> that I was um, trek leader for some of you guys in eighth grade and now you guys are all graduating it's been just really rewarding to see uh, just witness and be a part of all of your spiritual journeys and I'm so thankful that I was able to go on not only one but two retreats with you all before COVID happened and yeah, just thank you for all the good memories and for being uh, such a great bunch of people to serve. And I know that you guys would do great wherever you guys go. You guys are so hardworking, but you also know how to have fun in moderation. <laughs> but yeah, just may God bless you all as you graduate and head off into this exciting new chapter of your lives.
take a moment right now and just breathe in this experience of being surrounded by people who love you and are celebrating God's work in your life. Appreciate the significance of this occasion because moments like this are rare. I'm sure there were times where many of you wondered how you would ever make it to this point. Perhaps some of you doubted whether you ever would. But God is faithful and his steady hand has been guiding you from the moment you drew your first breath until today. Remember his faithfulness because in the years ahead there will be more struggles and doubts and in those times when you feel shaken I pray that this memory would become a rock for you. Something tangible that you can hold on to to remind you of God's goodness. God will never leave you nor forsake you. So go forth boldly into your lives with the confidence of knowing that since God is for you, who can be against you? Congratulations. For everyone at home, please take a minute to hear what's going to happen next. Right now, our parents are using this time to bless their graduating children. And we're inviting all of you to come and drive through the San Gabriel Mission Church parking lot from 815 to 845. But please be sure to arrive no earlier than 815 so we can make sure the parents have enough time to finish their blessing. So take a look at the map that's in your email on how to enter and exit the parking lot. Bring a mask and we'll see you soon. And in the meantime, take a look back on our last year together.
Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you.